and the U.S. went because that's the best they could. That was the best they could do, and 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 one or none was was the right thing. Do you think that was the right thing? Are you supportive of what they chose to do, or should they have waited and tried harder? No, I'm absolutely supportive of it. I think to prolong the uh, punishment of one American in a foreign uh, hostage situation on the hope that you might be able to bring home two of them is absolutely the wrong call for the U.S. president to make. That was the brother of Paul Whelan, the former Marine who was left behind in a Russian prison after the United States wasn't able to include him in the swap that freed WNBA star Brittany Griner. Now, even though Whelan's brother is at peace with the decision, the right is nonetheless losing it. Welcome to TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. In the wake of the United States exchanging WNBA star Brittany Griner for Russian arms dealer Victor Boot, well, the right is having a meltdown. Conservatives claim to be upset that the U.S. was unable to bring home Paul Whelan. Yeah, again, that former Marine who is serving a 16-year sentence in Russia for espionage. Let's go ahead and look at some of the right's ridiculous takes. First up, Tucker Carlson. So at this point, we can assume the obvious. The Biden administration chose Brittany Griner over Paul Whelan, the basketball player over the Marine facing 16 years. There was only room for one in the lifeboat, and the Marine got left behind. Well, why'd they make that choice? Well, you should know that Whelan is a Trump voter, and he made the mistake of saying so on social media. He's paying the price for that now. Brittany Griner is not. She's got very different politics. Brittany Griner despises the United States. She's been very vocal about that. This country is so repellent and immoral that two years ago she said, quote, I honestly feel we should not play the national anthem during our basketball season. She hates the country so much she doesn't want to hear its anthem. That's the kind of position that gets you rewarded by Joe Biden. Hate America? Perfect. We'll free the guy who sold weapons to drug cartels to get you out early. So there's that. And then there's the matter of identity, which is central to equity. Brittany Griner is not white, and she's a lesbian. Now, those facts might seem irrelevant to you. We hope they do seem irrelevant, because they are. Yeah, Brittany Griner kneeled during the national anthem and criticized the United States. But Paul Whelan, former Marine, who was, what, court-martialed by the Marine Corps and also dishonorably discharged for bad conduct after being convicted of multiple counts of larceny, dereliction of duty, identity fraud, false statements, and also check fraud. Real hero there. Now, I'm not saying that Whelan doesn't deserve uh, to be home, but I'm saying that Tucker Carlson is leaving out a hell of a lot. Florida Congressman Matt Gates, well, he tweeted, I bet when Paul Whelan was learning the skills to be a Marine, he never thought that his country would have prioritized him more than if he had a jump shot. It's funny because Gates had no issue with Greiner, you know, bringing home Olympic gold medals for the United States. And of course, Donald Trump. The former president took to Truth Social with this. What kind of deal is it to swap Brittany Griner, a basketball player who openly hates our country, for the man known as the Merchant of Death, who is one of the biggest arms dealer anywhere in the world and responsible for tens of thousands of deaths and horrific injuries? Why wasn't former Marine Paul Whelan included in this totally one-sided transaction? He would have been let out for the asking. What a stupid and unpatriotic embarrassment for the United States. That's cute, because while Victor Boot may be a big-time arms dealer, well, I doubt he's as prolific of one as the United States is. Let's not forget that Paul Whelan was taken captive in Russia during Trump's administration. Yeah, right around 2018 is when he was convicted. And so Trump could have got him out at any time if he would have used his great art of the deal tactics. Anyway, the reality is that Russia wasn't about to let Whelan go. A senior U.S. official tells NBC News that they tried everything they could to get Paul Whelan out, but they are treating him differently. They say he is an espionage case. They said the choice was either one Griner or none. Now, Russia may be unsavory, but my God, they are not stupid. With Whelan being Canadian-born with Canadian, British, Irish, and U.S. citizenship, who, again, was dishonorably discharged from the Marines in a super weird situation, well, Whelan is out here looking like Leonardo DiCaprio's character in The Departed. Yeah, I can see why Russia seems to think that Whelan is a spy and was not about to let him go. The U.S. made the right call here in bringing home Brittany Griner because she is what they could get. 
And just because the right is pissed about the fact that the U.S. brought home a queer black woman instead of a Trump-supporting white former Marine is nothing I'm still willing to entertain because it's absolute nonsense. But then again, those are just my thoughts. You let me know yours in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.